give it a three, two, one. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, now we're up. <laughs> and Leia did the count in. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry we took so long there. That's a that's an eighteen minute starting soon that I did not expect because the second I pressed it actually no, it was this it was like the moment before I pressed it, it was like, Hello, this is your insurance company. This is actually not a scam because you launched a request the other day. Oh, uh, in short, if you uh, if you watched me on the weekend, thank you for one. Uh, but also, just know that uh, on the Saturday loading in, I got rear-ended, and I have to sort that out now. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hadn't told you either. Yeah. So new information for everybody. I got rear-ended on Saturday uh, driving into the charity event. <laughs> Car's okay. I think it's just going to be like a boot replacement. But the fact that. Oh, bloody hell, bloody mumble a bit more, bloody hell of that pun. Uh, yes. So, look, car, car is not, like, car's drivable, not in terrible shape. It was just, like, SUV smacked into the back of my hatchback, and now there's a big dent in it, and the boot won't open anymore, which made it really fun to unload and reload the car for bump in and bump out, let me tell you. Not being able to use that boot bit of a pain in the butt uh but yeah no they're giving me a higher car and everything i was not at fault thankfully so i don't have to pay any money uh but still a pain in the ass because now i did cancel it was like you gotta get in quickly you gotta you gotta get a higher car you're in a suburb that is 40 minutes away from you so you can't get home easily higher car now needs to be nearby and then it was uh it was uh you know I had to cancel a doctor's appointment because I have a doctor's appointment to refill a prescription tomorrow and then it was a, a whole other thing. But it's okay. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, Play no. no sound. I'm... I'm so sorry. Oh. That's okay. I haven't said anything important yet. But you did the counting. That's the, okay. You did all the counting. That's okay. Hello, thank you for for calling Good Morning RPG. My Did, name's Leia. We this will do our best. And... Please enter one at the keypad. Oh. Hello, Skull, for by English. the way. Hello, Dead Like Me. Hello, everyone in chat. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Ugh, I know the I D&D games were chaotic. Chaos cat. So. But I promise this is just as chaotic, but in like a cozy way. <laughs> Cozy chaos. Cozy chaos. All right, there we go. Good morning, Saz. Oh, is a Saz in there? Hello. Yeah, just Saz. I noticed them. Good vibes just to now. us both. I got to take off that little highlighted chat thing. But yes, good morning. Oh, um, that went away. Good morning from Saz. Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. What's the thing from Truman Show? Good morning. Good evening. And good night. Great movie. Can I tell you something? Tell me what I've only ever seen that movie once. That's so loud. I love that movie. It's like it's not like a it's like it's like a little bit but like a comfort movie, but also I just I find it a really good movie. It's a bit old now, so it's like filmed in that kind of dated older way where everything's a bit slower and you know, if you were to make it now, it would not be the same movie. No. Probably It'd be, be like way more explosions. It'd be, it'd be like, yeah, it'd be like Tom Cruise is starring in it and it'd have like, Ew. yeah, it'd be like Tom Cruise is starring and it'd be like super dramatic. And I'm like, it's not that kind of movie. Oh no. You want to know? Uh, here's, here's a, um, you'll appreciate this. Yeah. So because, um, mm -hmm. what was it? Glass was on, uh, Netflix. Like the, the unbreakable like, oh, man. one. Yeah, the unbreakable one. The yeah, M. Night Shamalama Shamalama. Yeah, yeah. Sham Shamalan. My dad calls him Shamalama Ding Dong. I think is that I think that's racist, right? I don't know. I'm, I I get I get racist vibes from when people say that, but uh, I, who knows. I don't anyways. So 
Uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Shan- yeah. Sh- I'm, I'm fucking it up. I know. Anywho. Um, I was like, you know, I should go see those bo- those those movies again. Because, like, I actually really like Unbreakable. And I was a fan of Split. Yeah. Um, and I had only ever seen Glass once. And now we're on a kick of watching all of the M. Night movies yeah which i have feelings about <laughs> i like i like um, um <laughs> in terms of description which ones do you like do you like the one where the mist is around the town the mist that makes you die or do you like the beach that makes you old or do you like the man that doesn't I die <laughs> i haven't seen the beach that makes you old the beach that makes you that old one. is a fantastic weird movie um, I think I've heard about that one. Yeah, I, I, sorry. I will say, um, the Unbreakable Universe is probably some of my favorites. Yeah, I think that's the best um, one. I, I like Split the most. I think. Yeah, Split is definitely the best out of those. Um, just because James McAvoy is very good, unfucking believable. I gotta say, Glass. I'm pretty sure he's not human. Glass is number three, right? Yeah, Glass is a bit weaker. Glass is all, yeah. Still good. Um, but I think Split was really good as a movie on its own, and then it was um, yeah. I think it was elevated yeah. <laughs> when it was elevated to me James when it McAvoy became is. part of the universe, rather than like uh-huh. rather than Glass, where it was like, all right, this is established to be part of the universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I yeah. did. I did like the the like. Um, Bruce Willis cameo at the end. I thought that was adorable. I have been paying attention better, and all of his films are like Philadelphia in and about. Um, I will also say um, The Village is also one of my favorites. The Village. Um, the is, village. That, is that the one where the village that makes you die, or is it what's the premise of that one? The village that makes you die? I, everything um, in Shyamalan movies is the blank that okay. makes you die to me. I think this movie is concept. like over. This movie is like at least twenty years old, so I'm just going to speak the truth about it. And if you don't want spoilers, tune out now. Uh, we've and had don't tw- look at. We've had Bye. twenty years. Spoil away. <laughs> we've had we've had twenty years. You've had X many years. Yeah. So uh, that's the one where like a bunch of uh, these people had like like a group of friends had some like tragedies where they had family members who died or who are uh, well who were oh, murdered and they got, or killed yeah, yeah. in some way and they like go isolate themselves and like create their own kind of society that is like a a pseudo utopia ish um you find out that like they're in like a wildlife preserve that one of the the members of the the elders have like has purchased so mm-hmm, okay hello pig um i pig a lick. hello i think one of uh <laughs> the village is a well-meaning cult uh yeah pretty much yes but i'm also i'm a really big um joaquin phoenix fan oh yeah he's I, a good actor he's, so weird and i love him it weird he is the a best funky way. little guy in me like, he is so he's so intense like we rewatched signs and i was like i can't get over how dorky he is i love him because like i grew up with with him in like gladiator where he plays like the most unlikable villain ever and i loved him in that i i love that i also unashamedly loved him in the joker and that other movie where uh. he plays like some kind of hitman. Didn't, it was really weird. Didn't love the Joker. I know a lot of people did. I I, I didn't. But. I liked it for its social commentary on how we deal with mental illness. <laughs> I like that part. I didn't like the uh, the uh, the people who are very media illiterate um, latching onto it, being like, "This is the incel movie," and I'm like, "Oh boy, they're really missing the mess- point of this one, aren't they?" Oh, so yeah. I, th- I think Absolutely. that tainted my um, it tainted my enjoyment of it because I saw it quite a bit later than than everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so excited for the second one because first of all, I love Lady Gaga. 
Lady Gaga. Is, who is she playing in that? Is she Harley? Harley Quinn. She's going to be Harley Quinn. And it looks like it's going to be a musical, which is perfect. I don't mind that. I want to see what happens in it. Because mm -hmm. strange premise, but not opposed to it at the same time. I think it's just too... It's, it's my guess from the... Um, premise of the first one being about how we as a society like to deal with mental illness we are a society it sounds like my kind of weird i'm i'm with i'm it's with you. where we're at right look. yeah um is i feel like it is oh what happens is when two mentally unstable people have a have a thing probably very toxic relationship well that's the whole um, point of, of harley and joker right yes absolutely it is one person taking advantage of the other. Yeah. And it's just like two people wallowing in in mental illness. And honestly, like my big takeaway from the Joker was that like that that last kicker at the end where yeah, he's yeah. like, what do you get when you take? I, I'm not going to remember the whole the whole joke. But like when I saw that, when he says that joke. It was like you get what you fucking deserve. Is like that. That was the movie for me. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. I um. God, sorry. I'm just trying to get my all, all of my. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh, is there's a big man with a kiss. There's a big man with Ooh, a kiss. He smells nice. A, a nice smelly man. <laughs> a smelly, a nice smelly man, but brackets hey, endearing. That's my. That's my tiny. Stop playing with my tiny. Measuring tape. Stop it! You're poking me in the face. All right. I'll be doing some Look, more. Look, I took the, I took the keychains off of them, just like Matt, uh, this Matt, suggested, so we didn't knock stuff over. I only learned that from my many times I knocked over a lot of my guys, and they have little spindly bits. He learned that from knocking down all of his guys with spindly bits. Hello. Hey. Look at this dweeb in his Tanith shirt. Look <laughs> Man, at this. He's Look gone this full dweeb. rabbit hole nerd. <laughs> he's, he's so... <laughs> he's gone full rabbit hole nerd. Yeah. It's a great book series. Probably it's good. It's a good before. series. I, um... Yeah. Uh oh. I was, I was hoping I'm, they'd I'm... turn up today so I could build them, but I the rest of my crude order's coming in. Uh, what the hell have I been doing? Oh. How do you feel about me buying more sisters later? No. No? That's too bad. Look we, at what- we, we have important stuff Look there. at what you've done to my- my- No, no, don't I'm let so him go away. Don't let now. him go away. Uh, oh, you're not allowed to go away, apparently. I, you have it, to stay. This is a goal for come you. Here. This- hold on. Here, come here. You gonna listen? Yeah, I- I got- This is a goal I for got, you. I got this one very cheap a while ago, and I know this will be on your list one day. <laughs> The main blade, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The big, the oh, yeah. big oh, yeah. <laughs> I like me smashing his face against my my earbuds so he can hear. Yeah, ten out of ten. I, I want it. It was a, it was <laughs> a like, good. You know, it's like a whole it, quarter of your army, right? It, it, yeah. I think it's a quarter. It's a quarter of your points. So of you, a two thousand point. Yeah, of a two k point. Next goal um, is a, the next goal is a as a one hundred point. I mean, I really I'm want. so blue now. I want to say. Want to say. Who I am. That big boy took me like Bye. a solid three days to build, a few hours each time. It's no joke. Um, also, hello, Owen boy. Thank you for following. Also, uh, if you have only recently followed because of the charity event, welcome. This is our weekly show. This is called Good Morning RPG. I'm Matt. This is Leia. Um, we paint stuff. Right now, I'm painting a very large car like uh, figurine that I got 3D that was 3D printed and I picked up at DreamHack uh, from Winter Wormling and uh, and Leia, you're painting a lot of Imperial Guard right now, aren't you? From Warhammer. Painting a lot of Imperial Guard, <laughs> lots of guardsmen for that big nerd that just walked out of my office because he was jealous that I have a bunch of sisters and he didn't have any little men. So I'm painting him little... some little men. Wait, did you get him some more little men recently? No, I didn't. No, no. Oh, okay. With the circumstances of what they are, as uh, I'm not buying any more little men. Look, they are uh, specifically now. Imperial Guard being a horde army, also quite expensive to get. It's fine. <laughs> I felt really guilty when I was looking for the rest of those uh, water slides, and they took down my box of half-finished sisters. 
Yeah, you gotta finish. I'm totally your sisters. coming back to it. You gotta I'm finish totally your coming sisters back to, it. to buy more sisters. There's, I have to. I will. I will. Like in and Destiny. And then I was on the phone with my mom, telling her about my stuff, and my mom's like, "Did you paint the miniature I got you?" And I was like, "God damn, mom! When did you care so much?" You gotta. You gotta. As they say in Destiny, you gotta use the forbearance to unlock the forbearance. It's a bit of a niche <laughs> meme. <laughs> That's I don't understand the words that came out of your mouth. Just That's okay. <laughs> All we need to know is the final shape comes out next week, and my god, I am keen. Also, does the, also does this work? <laughs> oh, it does. Lizard cam works. I was just I thought you were asking about lizard cam, and I was gonna spend some points to to lizard cam. That's all right. Where I've... are the lizard babies? Um. Well, it would be nice if the con camera control worked, but I think stream uh, streamer bot is not being friendly right now. I think I'm just gonna paint pants for a little while, so I don't have to keep switching. I think I'm like slowing myself down by having to switch pa switch brushes so many times. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna not do that this time. I'm gonna like paint everybody's pants. Everyone's pants are getting painted today. Get some painting pants going. We're paint, painting some pants. Get some painting pants. Oh, this, this this guy's got a lot of stuff on. Um. All right, let's bring that up again. And then go up here. And then go up here. Where are they? Oh, he's in the rock at the oh, back. Oh, they're in your room. Hey, there he is. There he is. <laughs> I was like, just look at them. Where are they? All right, there we are. Oh, he's up here. So, or oh, yeah, he's, he's, on, he's on his do, pride rock. His pride rock. I think I do have one complaint, and this might be of my own. Mm -hmm. This this might be a me problem, and not necessarily a slap chop problem. Oh, the other one's up um, on a vine. I definitely don't feel like there's a lot of contrast going on like or not contrast but like it definitely doesn't feel like there's enough tonal variety is maybe the word I'm looking for I guess it's cause like they're, they are basically army men like have you got the, like the well, brown like leather straps going yet um I have a couple that have the straps done have you got any that are like done done yet? Um, with the exception of some metallics, I've got some that are very close to being done. Does that mm. count? I guess. I guess. Like, if you can, like, if you can see the finished product, then you can go like, all right, with this first test one, what was what needs to be different? Like. So I, 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 uh, let me words. Um, uh, what is what I, what is, what am I trying to say? Um, I don't feel like the slap chop technique has changed, has made much of an impact in this paint job. Oh, that's fair. Do you think like, is it that you think it'd be quicker doing it the other way for you? Oh, gods, no. No, I would obsess if I did this the other way. Yeah, I guess, I mean, um, the, slap, the slap chop is the speed factor above all, you know? Yeah. And and I guess that's um, like that's why I like it so much, because, you know, all of my Pokemon Tyranids were uh, uh, all slappy choppy. And, like, imagine if I had to do 60 of those little guys, much like you're going to have to do 60 of your little guys at some point. Uh to get all them done. Uh, I don't see myself doing it. Okay, so let me... Let me grab... Let me grab... Ooh, excuse me. Um, so... I think... Okay. We're gonna use this guy as an example because he is finished with the exception for metallic. Mm -hmm. Does he seem kind of flat? I mean, not really, but if you need to, just do, like, I, I'm... 
I think it does come from the br the brown undercoat. Like, I do think that is a factor. It's making it a little more drab than it would normally. But I, overall, that looks good. I think that's fine. When you've got a horde of those on the tabletop... Mm -hmm. Remember, it's one guy out of, what, 20? 25. Yeah. When you 25 see 25 dudes. of those little guys there, it's going to look good. I think you're okay. in that... I think, like... You know, not to not to like. I think I've been. I think I've been in, like looking at them individually too long. I think you're in that mode that that we all get, where it's uh -huh. bad right now, and then when you finish it and come back to it, you'll be like, "Yeah, okay. all right, that's fair, that's good." No, I, I feel that. I feel where you're getting with that. Like, there's that moment. It's like the cur. The, it's like the well of painting. It's like. Oh man, this is great. This is great. This is great. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, we're back. We. I love it again. Because it's like that part in the middle. That part in the middle is where all the anxiety comes from. Of just like, oh, this sucks. It doesn't look any good. It doesn't look any good. And then you do all the highlights, and then you you step back and go, oh, that looks damn good. Well, that's why. Like, I'm hoping that this gets to the point where, like, maybe maybe it'll be the metallics that that pull some things out. For me yeah that like i i feel like i don't know i'm it it just looks like very drab and i think maybe i'm just too in my head about it well that's what i'd say like huh. they are they are gritty little army men are they supposed to be drab because i would say yes yeah because especially these guys are like because the they're like supposed to be infiltration -y guys yeah all of their like stuff is like black yeah it's all supposed to be desaturated whereas your sisters are a bit yeah. more like look at look at us we are well, here what... and we're gonna mess you up well <laughs> i don't think they're all supposed to be like that just mine are because they're very gold well remember like the base color scheme is like black with a huge pop of red and gold True, but like uh, I feel like my sisters are a little bit more. Um, I don't want to call them drab, but I feel like they're a little bit more low key because that purple is so dark. Oh, well, I mean, I guess, but like you've also, you've got the white pop that really accentuates the brightness of your scheme. I've got a white pop. You've got a big like any of your like leader characters have this huge white aesthetic to them. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. And they they stand out. Um, oh, a, a side note as well. I was gonna play some clips from the weekend because we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Um, oh yeah, go off, go off. So weekend, fantastic. I I drank my body weight in hot sauces and chicken crimpies. Uh, Leia, you'll be happy to know that. Uh, I bought a lot of packets of chicken crimpy and a couple others helped me uh, get a couple extras when we needed them. So thank you as chicken well to those crimpy. people who, who who supplied the extra chicken crimpies uh, over the weekend. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 the humble chicken crimpy was the hot sauce delivery mechanism over the weekend. And my God, what a hot sauce delivery mechanism it was. Because it was used frequently. Oh my in, goodness! In Are fact, you far more is, frequently is your, than I realized it would? Is your tummy okay? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been four days, but it is now. Um, oh no! The spring cleaning uh, definitely happened. Let's let's uh, leave it at that. But um. You feel ready ready for winter hey badger it's time for sugar and spice Hello. and all things nice yeah it is um i don't know about but about nice but, but nice but yeah so my gosh in short uh we raised eighty five hundred dollars and oh i god yeah actually we're sitting at eight hundred eight thousand five hundred and fifty five right now because we've had fifty five dollar no in donations since so thank you for anyone oh who's donated God. after the event. I'll be keeping this up until the end of tomorrow uh, because the whole thing ends tomorrow. So if you do want to get any in and you missed the event, but you still want to donate to Life Saving Cancer Research, uh, pop down into our About section or hit the Donate uh, command, exclamation donate, and uh, you will be able to 
uh, uh, get some support in for Game on Cancer and uh, and the superhero streamers uh, event that we are a part of. Let me tell you, they came that through on the is... weekend. Oh my gosh! I mean, they had to eight thousand dollars. You smashed the last, our winter charity. The event. last goal that the goal we had was um, five thousand two hundred and sixteen, which was a dollar more than mm -hmm. than last year's effort in November. And I gotta say as well, last mm -hmm. year's effort in November went across two weeks and nine games. This version was all in person at Fortress. Thank you, Fortress, once again. Uh, and it, it what was it? It was nine, nine game, uh, six games across two days, plus like four little between games moments. So we did a couple mini painting ones. We did a couple drawing monsters ones. And yeah, in two days we raised that much. It was intense, but so good. Wow. So. If you're you watching, you donated. Are Thank you so much. Amazing. You guys. Oh my gosh. So amazing. Huge, huge shout out to everybody who participated and donated. Mm. That is fucking amazing, man. I'm I'm so happy for you. Yeah, if you if you supported it anyway, it doesn't even have to be monetary because a lot of people couldn't donate. Uh and so mm. like even sharing it, tuning in, watching. We had a raid. And I need to give them some love back. If I see them streaming while we're streaming and we when we're mm -hmm. finished, uh, Legends of Evantress raided in with like 400 people on the day two. Oh my god! And we stuck around with like over 100 people for the rest of the stream from that day. Um, oh my god. And so like, if I see them around, I'm going to pop into their chat and be like, thank you so much. Um, First of all, uh, Legends of Adventurous are uh, some amazing people. I've actually had the the opportunity to play with them like several years ago. Yeah, they yeah, came to a convention up. and and gamed with us. They're fun. Um, I see their so TikToks I was like, oh my god, <laughs> they're so funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I see their TikToks. I'm like, shit, I got to get some stuff animated. Um. But yeah, no, their TikToks are great. I love them a lot. Um, it makes me want to like put a mm. bunch of our stuff up as TikToks and like do some animations because they are they are funny people over there. Uh, so if they you're watching this, so anyone from Avantus, uh, Avantus, I am so sorry if I'm botching that name because I'm remembering off the top of my head while still tired. Uh, thank you so much for the raid as well. Um, yeah, hey, hey, Brain Beast, how you doing? Um, yeah, so, you know. Badger, that's, it's okay. Like, if you tuned in or watched or anything, or if you even shared a socials post, you contributed to that $8,500 as far as I'm concerned. Thanks, Ghost. Thank you so much. Uh, Sean, Brain Beast, thank you as well. Uh, from Ark and Forge, they gave us some starter kits to give away. Uh, and so we were able to give those away as little donation milestones. And those very much helped put, uh, spur donations because people were like, oh my God, there's only like $50 until the next donation. And someone immediately would just be like, pop trigger. Uh, and then we gave away so much stuff. Dungeons and Dragons themselves gave us like 14 Shattered Obelisk D&D campaign books. Um, and, and they were just like, here, have this. We went... I, I, what the heck? That's so many, guys. That's so many. Love you. I love you and appreciate it. But my God, we did not expect that many D&D books. Um, yeah, it was really good to see everyone get behind it. Like, and if you played on the weekend, if you're seeing this later or if you're in the chat, uh, don't feel, you know, lurking is fine. Uh, but if you played over the weekend as well, I I have nothing but good things to say about every player that played. Like, you were, you were all wonderful you are all fantastic. And Sean, yes, I do have that down. Uh, I, I, anyone who didn't get to play last time, I basically is the, you guys were on standby and you're gonna, I'm gonna try and get you in on the on the next run. Um, watched it after D&D &D and then on Sunday. Yeah, it was so fun. It was like 10 hours long each stream too. And it was a solid like 50 to 100 people for each stream. It was it was crazy that's that's amazing yeah i saw like the vod one of the vods got like two thousand views already and i'm like where do these people come from it's awesome um 
Uh, and there will be VODs going up on our stream channel uh, on YouTube. So just because it's not on our Twitch, it will be up on YouTube at some point. We will have links to that. Uh, and I'll start posting those at some point. But, um, that you know, wait like a week or two uh, from now before they all go up. Uh, and I might... Right now, I just need help clipping it. If anyone wants to watch it and make Twitch clips... There are, there are six three-hour games that is impossible for me just to sift through, so any help is appreciated on that. If you find a funny moment uh, that doesn't already have a clip, like, please, please give it a clip. Uh, hey, no worries, Badger. Uh, thank you for coming in and, and showing some love. Appreciate you. Um, speaking of clips, would anyone like to see any? Because I have... Some that are completely unhinged, and there's been a lot that, uh, like, uh, our wonderful community, like, Kid Carrig and Scarlet Song, uh, Ash Makes Props Promethean, they've all been clipping a bunch of stuff. Would anyone like to see the moment that I truly lost my mind over the weekend? It is on Twitter. Oh I my just, gosh. I posted it this morning, but I... <laughs> I, I I was a broken, broken man at this point in the, oh. in the weekend. It was the final game. It was... <laughs> it let the, see, the people want to see it. The people want to see it. I got to give the people what they want. My God, was I... Quote, I would, to put it simply, I, I, I was watched, fucked. <laughs> that I, I watched this clip and I was like, oh no, he's... <laughs> he's gone. I, I was done. In the good way. <laughs> All right, we were on... Are we on Firefox Chrome? What do we got here? That's not the right window. It's Leia's window. Do, do, do. Ethereal moment. All right. Oh, this is too many... Too many Leia's is what's going on. I was sick most of the weekend and only caught the end, so I need this. Oh, and... and I love D&D, &D, but keep up with the Joneses as far. And get... What, what, what's happened to my reference window? Hold on, let me just... No, no. I'm gonna reset this transform. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, oh. Ooh, snackies! Ooh, snacks! I love snacks! Are you forgetting I have Pocky? I really should put oh, this browser... Watch this clip. I really should put this browser in a browser. I can link you the clip later if you want to watch it at the same time. I'll watch it right now. Uh, it's the Ethereal Moment too. clip. Uh, if you're in our Discord, you can also see the Clip It channel. Uh, which has a lot of these clips. Um, and it is a public Discord. You are welcome to come in at your leisure and hang out. We would love to have you there. We talk a lot about mini painting. I post a lot of D&D stuff. Oh, the new Dungeon Master's Guide. I, f I saw the photo, uh, the painting of that. Woo, real nice. Um, all right, so here is the ethereal moment. If you would like to see oh it. Let me goodness. pause this music. Let me... Unpause the desktop. Just enjoy. I just had an ethereal moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I came back into my body. And I think Elliot did as well. <laughs> and we just <laughs> we just looked at each other so slowly. <laughs> And there was a moment where I think we swapped bodies. <laughs> do I, are we, we're both crying, do I? We do. <laughs> oh my get, the, get the close up going. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> if you watch closely, you can literally see tears streaming down my face. Oh. <laughs> crying and pain. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, there was, oh, why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Switch to the other shot, what happened? It was another 75. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, just that it. moment at the end there, watch the Tiltify bar up at the top. So, you'll see us, we're talking and the crowd's like, oh. And we'd just eaten hot sauce, and you can see the you see the bar. Which camera? That one? That Up one. the top, it'll start <laughs> moving. Seventy-five dollars. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, there was, oh, why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Switch to the other shot. What happened? It was 
And the bar oh, moves. Yeah. The bar moves and we suffer again. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Um Oh, where's another good one? There's a there's a good one down here. What's this one? What the fuck is upstream? What is this one? I don't know what this one is. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, I get, oh yeah, I know this one, I know this one. I mean, I really have to vet any of these. I was there and I know it was fine. It was also on our stream. <laughs> so, uh, here's another one. This one's called What the Fuck is Upstream? Uh, I, so, uh, Bandita played, uh, basically a sorcerer influencer, and their cat was their, their live camera feed going out to the masses. And I thought that was so funny. We're all level 20, by the way, for this game. <laughs> uh, so here's this one. Walks out, holding her cat familiar, facing her, looking dead into the eyes of it, and going, what the fuck is up, stream? How we doing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are, you, are you a Twitch streamer in game? I, I'm yeah, sick. All right, so, yeah! well done. Well done. You got like minor illusion coming up, no, and he's got like so, a chat for how's this? So my, my, awesome. my patron sees through my cat's eyes, so they're just it's a whole bunch of people watching through my cat. Um, yeah. So well, they're that, watching through your cat. They're watching through the cat's eyes. The, the, <laughs> My familiar eyes. That's, That's I'm holding sweet. my cat. And oh, the cat mark. Yeah. So I talk into that as my microphone for the stream, and everyone watches through that. <laughs> Meanwhile, what's the familiar's name? Uh, my familiar. Is, oh my god, it is Luck, the cat. So the the, the cat Luck. You so you basically spend your days yelling at your cat. <laughs> That's it. Which is connected to a worldwide holographic magical web system. It's only the underworld. What's your relationship with this cat like? Good. Pretty good. They like being yelled at for all day. It's a family walks out holding her cat familiar. Uh, what else we got in here? I can see one that simply says it's a marathon, not a sprint, which kind of became my catchphrase over the whole weekend because every time someone made me do hot sauce. Th so here's the other thing. The point of me doing hot sauce, and I need to really stress this, was that I started off slow, like last year, Leia, and then, mm -hmm. and then it built up over the weekend. However, with everyone doing the hot sauce in solidarity, I then felt obliged to do whatever level they did, which usually meant I would only ever do... So do you remember that death sauce? The death yes. hot sauce that made Ash, like, go have a vom? Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. Simo, how you doing? Um, hey. Basically... Every shot and every taste was that death sauce every time. So I was, at, I was at the freaking hundred every hot sauce we did, which means that like my tongue was on fire for about 20 minutes a pop. And that's if I did one. And on that game six, I did like 30. And Promethean did like 40. Hey, Natalie, how you doing? Also, congratulations, Natalie, on the winning the very last prize of the weekend. Couldn't think of anyone better for it to Ooh. go to. Uh, Twitch updates their user side for the app. I already hate it. Sorry for the rant. Yeah, it looks a bit TikTok now, doesn't it? It's like you can scroll up and, oh, and check out different streams. It's weird. No, no thanks. How's the taste buds Hard going? Taste buds are fine now. Uh, now that it's been three days later, four yeah. days later for you. Yeah, yeah. Monday, I can say with absolute confidence that Monday I spent on the toilet or in bed. Because I either needed to sleep or go to the bathroom. And there was nothing else. That was it. Tuesday. Nothing else existed. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday was like, all right, let's check some, like, critical life stuff. Like, let's just make sure that I, I'm not missing anything that I need to check. And more sleep. And then yesterday... As you can tell, I still need sleep. No, um, Wednesday was... Uh, I got all the rest of my stuff out of Fortress because they very kindly let me... Um, bump out after a few days of rest so uh we got some utes we went back to fortress and and got our, all of the set dressings out and then today is is now here talking about it yeah um so what's this next clip this next clip is it's a marathon not a sprint i'm saying it's a marathon not a split sprint despite this being the final game of the weekend uh, yeah, and and the marathon or the sprint. Yeah, I I just kept doing the hotter and hotter hot sauces and and just absolutely not 
not paying attention to my own uh my own advice by the end of it the worst uh, yeah so this one's called it's a marathon uh let's see why we're suffering i can see a lot of people that may have just eaten hot sauce i think anthony's staring into the void already you grow a long beard may the feathers that remains till you sneeze at which point the feathers explode out from your face awesome <laughs> I can hear I by my voice. I've just gone into my sinus. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you look like you're going to sneeze feathers any second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take this slow. All right. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I feel right? like this one's definitely going to be a sprint. Yeah. I think so. I've been sprinting all weekend. <laughs> then make it a sprint for us. <laughs> it's just going to be a sprint to the bathroom after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So does it Quite possibly. Do the astral plane thing last till I start my next turn? Ba uh, basically, I think you're going to miss your turn. Uh, okay. Well, you could do something in the astral plane, but uh, you grow a long beard, maybe the feathers... This, this, that sounds like I've just had a hot sauce run, uh, and I'm struggling through it. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Uh, oh, Dirty Dicks is fun, because, Leia, it's that hot sauce that's uh, Dirty Dicks with a tropical twist. Multiple times mm -hmm. over the weekend, I was like, yeah, get some dirty dicks in your mouth. and I, Or I'd be like, oh, man, I love dirty dicks in and around my mouth. Um, it's such a dweeb. Yeah, it's a, fun, it's, a fun, it's a fun little saying. I, uh, there's also, like, there's one down here as well. It's like, I'm sorry, what, Matt? <laughs> oh, yeah, Matt loves what? There's a, there's a bunch of these dirty dicks ones. Favorite's that one, it's called... Life. My favorite's that one, it's called... Yeah, yeah, my favorite's dirty, my favorite's dirty, dirty dicks. I love dirty dicks, dicks in my mouth. That's... Thank that's... I love that sauce. I like... This is how much? Are we happy? My favorite's that one, it's called... Yeah, that would have been the first time we had the dirty dicks in and around our mouth. And there should be another one around here. Who is messaging me? Um... Oh god, where is it? Dirty Dicks. There it is. So here's another here's the other continuation of Dirty Dicks. <laughs> I love how it smells. Yeah, hold on. But I don't know if I like the taste. Of which one? The um the dirty okay. dicks. The reason why that bottle is so empty is I put that on tacos like every time I eat it. It is so good, but quite Are you wearing spicy. a hot dog costume? I am. That was the cosplay game. Like dirty dick taste. Oh. Yeah, it does. That's why I said I love <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, cut, cut back to the other shot. I I love I love dirty dicks in my mouth. I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> I love one? how it smells. Yeah, Barreling the camera. Right. I love like dirty dicks taste. in my mouth. Of which one? The um, the dirty okay. dicks. The it reason does. why that bottle is so empty. Also, there's something to be said about also being in a hot dog costume at the same time. It's a little bit. Um, is there anything that you saw that you would like to see? That I saw? I mean, uh, either, either like on the day or like on Twitter yes. or something. Um, I honestly, I I have been avoiding social media. I I, I I've been having a slow breakdown, so oh. I haven't been on. Uh, for context, I have to move abruptly. Um, and I just like that idea. That's so. Fair. Um. Uh. Natalie. So I have been oh, pretending sorry. that life doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, that's so fair. <laughs> Although, I, mean... I did last night after after my paid game, I did finish the Diablo season because. Ooh. Yeah, you did. Um, I one hundred percented it. I did all of the things that you need to do to finish the season, as well as got my character all the way up to one hundred, and I fought Uber Lilith. Fuck yeah, suck did you, it. Did, was it like, did you, was it a struggle or was it like, oh, that was easy? Oh, it was a struggle. I died a lot. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, but because this <sighs> Diablo is finally getting to the point where like, like this season was amazing. I have, I have kind of, um, after we purchased Diablo, I have kind of abandoned it. My, mm -hmm. one of my partners has been very dutifully continuing to play it. Um, but this is the first season that I've come back and it's actually the first time I've ever gotten a character up to 100 level, uh, level 100, which is the cap. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's great. It, it was, it was so good this season. So good. I hope that Blizzard continues to make good updates, but yeah, it's, it's, but it's yeah. nice. <laughs> I mean, that, that game's had some tumultuous times, right? 
that was my escapism though to to make myself feel like everything's normal and my life doesn't have to completely change mm. i hate fucking moving i hate it so much moving, so, so moving sucks um i don't want to have to pack my whole life away i'm also debating on whether i should buy new leds for my future office now so i have mm. them when i go to set up and then i don't have to wait for them to come when i eventually set up my office so yeah that's uh... a thing i've been thinking about um, uh, <laughs> unlike the that family that come came come yeah. sat down someone said something about dirty dicks i think and then they got up and left i'm trying to find that clip right now because that was one of my favorite moments of the weekend so oh my we God. were talking about uh, uh public toilets uh have you got the, the robotic public toilets where you are by the way what so there's robotic? like robotic, there's like robotic what? kind of automated public toilets where it like o okay. it opens up and it's like it it opens up and then it has like an automatic locking door system, but it gives you like ten minutes at most to do what you need to do and get out. But then if you're stu if you're too still while sitting in there, it'll be like no motion detected, opening door within a minute if you don't uh, if if nobody is there. And you're just like, God damn it. You have to like, w you, if you're like, if you're like sitting down on the toilet, you got to fucking wave your arms like an idiot just to, just to put the motion center off. And then it's like, okay, extending time. And you're just like, God damn it. And it makes me, when going in those makes me so anxious. And I, I went on a little rant, but at the same time, so there's two clips that I'm going to show. The first one is me saying that. And then Panda, Panda TV, who's sitting next to me, watched something very funny which natalie is uh is referencing there uh and he saw the whole thing and i didn't see any of it and then he told us on stream <laughs> and that was it oh my gosh all right i'll have to unmute the stream so i can yeah. see that um, <laughs> i have to I have to hear this happen i need to find so you let me know actually. when you yeah you let me know when you find the clip and i will unmute the stream so i can listen to yeah it. it's um Okay, so it's this one. So it's Matt wants to sit on the toilet in the dark sometimes. And the other one is about the family. <laughs> the inevitable conclusion. All right, if you want to watch this in your own time, it's called Matt just wants to sit in the dark. And the second one is the, uh, the follow-up from that. Hey, werewolf, how you doing? Um, uh, Goddamn. So this was just... Yeah. <laughs> See, it involves a family very innocently coming to watch our stream, and it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, if you're watching this family, I don't know how you're watching this, but I am genuinely sorry that I that I. <laughs> we are, we weren't family friendly. Let's just say that. Um. So we were talking about the public toilets, and then I went off on a little rant like this, and uh, this you know, uh, Maddie and Ashley in this, they're like comedians in Melbourne. Mm. So they're just like amping, okay. amping each other and the table up the whole oh. time. Uh, and I'm just, I, you know, I'm matching the energy around because that's usually what I try to do. I'll, if a table's a bit more low key, I'll do a bit more immersive, but um, oh, I'll, yeah. try, I'll try meet them where they're at. And it resulted mm -hmm. in this. Because <laughs> there was a, okay. also across the weekend, just before I play this, a lot of pee and poop themes in the games and not by my m not by my dming uh, there was a wizard that greg from dice paper role played called the uh, and his name was greg the urine mancer so ineffectively he was a piss wizard the pissed the wizard the he he was he, all of his spells were pee based and it was very funny and then there was so much oh toilet God. for a bunch of adults that are ranging from like 20 to 40. There was a big age group in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of pee and poo, which means it is toilet humor is just universally funny, apparently. Um, so, yep. oh, 90 second ad break. All right. If you're, if you can see this, thank you for subscribing. I'll play this after. Uh, and I'll let chat know. But yeah, my gosh. Uh, I'll find some... I'll queue up some more... Uh, I'll tee up some more while we're doing this. Uh, uh, were you in the games the uh, last time where we had a lot of Harold Holt happening? 
Yes. Okay, that came back. That came back around. And I, I I had to do a lot of uh, research on who Harold Holt was. Yeah. So, so um, yes, Harold Holt came Wait, back is that the guy, again. Is that is is that the guy? Is that the prime minister that got lost at sea? <laughs> no, he okay. went for yeah, a, just he didn't it. So the the getting lost at sea is he went for a swim and no one ever saw him again. Like he didn't go on a boat or anything. He just disappeared. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember that. And we just we, we just presumed Harold dead. In the ice, didn't we? Sorry. We did we find him? Yeah, you, Holt, fa- you we, found him in, in our game. Yeah, in like an a, ice block. You found him thawing in an ice block, uh, and then that Harold Holt. Uh, it's become a bit of a meme in the char- the, the D&D charity uh, games area where Harold Holt usually makes an appearance at least once and it may he made a lot of appearances in that final game um, he made a lot of appearances in the final game in the way that one Harold Holt came because they donated to have an NPC show up and then they kept mm. donating for Harold Holt to show up every time they got Harold Holt to go away he would show up again because someone was like, you ain't getting away that quick. <laughs> hey, LNL. Also, LNL was there over the weekend and we were playing his music for all of the starting soon screens and it was Ooh. wonderful and you should follow them uh, because because he's a wonderful person. I just realized that these guys have Swiss Army knives, which makes sense. You see like little Swiss Army knives on their belt. Oh, but to answer Stream your earlier command. question, no. We do not have automatic toilets, or at least I, I've i never seen them in my cities. Yeah. We so, said, yeah, we got automated public toilets. Oh, I, I'll, I'll boot, I'll, I'll boot the clip. What's this? Oh, this? What's this laugh of hot death? I think this is pro me now losing his mind. All right, here we go. So, uh, this one's called the laugh of hot death. I promise I will show the public toilets one straight after this. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that moment with me. <laughs> Oh, that was me and Elliot. Oh no! I just, oh no! It dropped. I laughed while I was swinging it, and that was not a cool thing to do. I knew you were in trouble when you walked in. Oh, it's a oh, shame. It's inside the back of my face. <laughs> oh no! Thank you. Thank you for sharing that moment with me. So, uh, I want to point out Promethean down in the bottom right corner, literally swigging hot sauce in this clip. I'm just, gonna, oh. I'm just gonna play it again. Watch Promethean explicitly, because I know I'm struggling over in the left-hand corner, but he's doing an entirely different game over here. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that moment with. He's me. swigging the dirty dicks. It looks like. <laughs> oh no! I just, oh no! It dropped. I laughed while I was swigging it, and that was not a cool thing to do. I knew you were in trouble oh, when you walked in. <laughs> It's a oh, inside the back of my face. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that moment with me. <laughs> so he laughed when he was drinking hot sauce and it went down his lungs, I think, a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Okay, so here's here's the uh, here's the, one of the favorite clips of the weekend, just being uh, talking about public toilets and unfortunately, I think Panda's right. watching them walk in now, actually, on this part. Because he's the one who, who witnessed the whole thing. Uh, which means it could have been a repeat performance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Ew. The town's famous for the most pristine public toilet. It's not those ones that go, public toilet, self-cleaning. Oh, yeah, and, my but God. You're all still inside yeah, still it. You're, you're oh, just... my God. One of those opened on me once because it said no movement detected. I just want to sit still in the dark sometimes. What? I don't want to fucking have my dick open to the public. <laughs> I need I'm to know. I'm literally closing open. the door well, to be what? private. The robots want that. The that's robots want. do want that. They know yeah, that's our weakness. So, so the town's famous for the most pretty. All right, so that clip happens, and then we get to this because pa- if and if you're watching Panda in that clip, he's watching the family walk in. You could see him just being like, "Oh man, there's a family coming in," and then I go, so "I just want to sit in the dark with my dick out." Uh, sorry. Which one is Panda? Panda is the bald one. So I know there's, I know there are many bald people on this stream, but he's the bald one with tattoos. <laughs> he's sitting, okay. he's sitting directly on my left. Also, he can't eat okay. spicy food, and neither can Ash. So what we had to do in the stream is we still had them donate, mm-hmm. and Panda and Ash 
would get Ethan and X, who were the two dudes on the far right, uh, the far right and the far left, and they would have to do the punishment twice, one for themselves and one for either Ash or Panda. Oh and my so gosh. they were on they were on double punishment time. Oh. Yeah. So uh, here's the second half of the family clip. One right. of the one of the most I would say I don't know if it's my favorite clip, but definitely one of the most memorable. Point out that the stream won't see it all, okay? Yeah. You just said in context on a stream for <laughs> you were cancer. <laughs> I just want to sit in the dark with my dick out taking a shit. And can I just tell for people that can't see, a young family just walked in, sat, <laughs> sat down, right, on this seats right here. As soon as you said that, they got up and left. I'm uh, so sorry. <laughs> I am genuinely oh, so you guys sorry. sorry. They walked in, it was like a family if with they their kids. Oh, I didn't even <laughs> see them. <laughs> Oh no! They like, put their hands over the ears like. Are they learning a lot? Donate, to, donate no. now, please. For oh, my... no. It happened in real time, and it was the funniest thing. Cause they sat down, they were so full of, <laughs> so full of life, and they just went, no. And then they went, oh. Point outside that the stream won't see it all. Okay. I'm so sorry. You just said in context on a stream. <laughs> so embarrassed i'd be under the table i'm like all right we're done i didn't have time i was full of hot sauce i was like i can't keep this fucking thing moving while i'm still burning oh it was so funny it was so funny jess did, did you see this clip it's the family clip from um from the from the game two on sunday oh my god <laughs> this is the family thing <laughs> i thought I, yeah 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 it was there Oh, fair enough. Don't Jess, would you like to see the... Oh, no, you... Which... Sorry? Oh, I was just making a joke. Uh, <laughs> I oh, heard you oh, cry. Fair enough. Well, yeah, no, no. Um, you, you saw the ethereal... <laughs> watching a Neopets AMA. What? Oh, yeah, Jess... Neopets AMA? Yeah, Jess is back big into Neopets. You can't watch it. You're on a stream. <laughs> Says who I can multitask. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I hear you go quiet. It's just going to be like, <laughs> like I'm so much in the pets. I've been, I've been quiet the whole time because you keep running your mouth. Well, what have you been doing? I'm actually, I'm actually doing what we said we were doing, which is painting. I said what I was doing. I said I was going to watch some clips with people as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, I do have Carl like here, but, uh, you know, she's, she's uh, barely got started oh. today. Oh. It's all good. What else we got? No, I enjoy you talking about your stream. I'm incredibly proud of you. Uh, I'm just existing in a void. That's fair. I uh, if we can if we can give you context about all this crap we're going to be referencing uh, for a while, I assume. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, use no. of use of wish spells. Uh, the best possible way. Uh. Use of wish spells in the best possible way, aka on fucking nonsense. Ring of three wishes, mm. like so, be level twenty. Uh, they had ring of three wishes, and then they, uh, and then they also had a wish spell generally. So they had four total wishes. Mm. Are you saying hi to Ash? Mm. Um. I think if you can see the donation feed on Tiltify, someone could actually work that out. Um, Come here. This one is Come called here. Harold Holt is wished back to the Australian Ocean. If that's any context. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? This one's called Harold Holt is wished back to the Australian Ocean. It's a clip show today, apparently. Can I use my ring of wishes to send him back to Australia? <laughs> that would be your final wish, but you may. That's fine. Be gone, Harold. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, state your wish. I will send you to Australia, good sir. And I will put my hand on his shoulder, and he will disappear. 
I don't know if he went into the Australian Ocean. Into the Australian Ocean. You see him like like a like a, a sphincter in reality. He just goes <laughs> into himself, uh, into his belly button uh, as he's sucked away. And you just know that some country somewhere that you may know of is very happy, potentially very happy, that their governmental system has just been uprooted for probably the third or fourth time because this, this donation of this character keeps happening in a Sweet. lot of these games. <laughs> <laughs> I also got to point out down here somewhere, I just saw the chat that was happening at the time and I saw mm. one that was like, George will snort hot sauce for $1,000 donation. My God. I, I remember yelling that out to him. I was like, George, what will you snort hot sauce for? He's like, thousand bucks. And I was like, total or in one? He's like, all in one. And uh, I do wish we could have seen that. Uh, what we does fucking love Harold Hot in these games. It has become a bit of a tradition. This one's called What Does the Flump Say? And I think it was like, do I speak what Flump speaks? Because I... And this... this, this <laughs> I'm queuing up another one called The, ho the, halt, of, the halt of Earth of Madness. Oh my goodness. Um, let's... Uh, oh my god, there are so many clips. Thank you for clipping all of these. Uh, how rude. Right? That reminds me of another I have to clip. That's fair. Ash, thank you so much for doing all of this hard work. I appreciate it quite a lot. Uh, mm. I do not have the mental bandwidth to do it myself. Um, so any help is appreciated. Uh, okay, so what does the flump say? What did the flump say? I, I understand all spoken. I can only hear <laughs> it actually Matt just overlap. Said, <laughs> like, it didn't say anything. It, was it, it sounded like it was more frustrated that it was there of anything being unpaid it's for its work. It's just been woken up. <laughs> what did the flump say? I, I understand all spoken. All right. Uh... Ash said they couldn't do as much on the day because they're in stitches laughing. I mean, it seems like it was a very funny show. Oh my god. The 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 people made it so funny. Also having the live audience like reacting at the same time was really good. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure that definitely helped egg people on. Oh, definitely. Definitely egged me on. Uh I'm I'm glad that it went so I'm glad it went so well. Honestly, like I cannot understate the amount of how proud I am of you oh, thank and of everybody who participated. And thank you so much to all the people who donated. I'm really bummed I couldn't be there, but yeah. it is what it is. I'll just have to that volunteer for extra shifts the, when the, uh, we do an online one again. <laughs> I, we'll, de we'll definitely do an online one again. Um, oh, yeah. I the, That was my one thing I wanted. I was like... I'm upset that Leia can't be here in person. Because I want to yeah. do this and have Leia be here. Oh, yes. Also, Panda, who was doing the family thing, they were sitting there on the game, on their phone, donating mm -hmm. spices because they didn't have to oh do it. And so he kept being oh. like, he, he, literally, uh, he literally looks at me and he's like, do you want me to, I'll donate spices, like almost like a threat. Uh, and then he and then goes, I can do it through PayPal. I have so much in my PayPal balance right now. And I just went, I looked at him going like, you like a little bit, you wouldn't, but also full well knowing how much of a cheeky, would. how much of a cheeky demon he is. And <laughs> at the same time, I was like, oh no, it's, f and I, I think, I think I was just like, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. Let them do whatever, because it's funny. It's for the just do it. I'll, I'll suffer. Someone like force fed me garlic bread too, uh, but it was then covered in hot sauce. Oh my gosh. Garlic bread tasted good though. Garlic uh, bread is delicious. Oh, <gasps> fuck. What? You left garlic bread in the oven? I forgot to get garlic bread for tomorrow. Oh, well. You could, you could. I'm time. making dinner tomorrow, and I forgot. You could, to... could pop out, yeah. brother, and get a little garlic bread. Don't, don't. I gotta get ready for a trip. I'm going. I'm going to New York this weekend. So get, get some DoorDash garlic bread. Get DoorDash garlic bread. Yeah. Maybe I can talk Alex into getting some on his way home from work tomorrow. Yeah, fair. Um. 
I've got this next one queued up. It's called The Halterverse of Madness. <laughs> <laughs> How many different ways can we send our uncles back into yeah. the ocean? This is the level the rest of the street. A small days. submarine <laughs> beaches itself on shore. <laughs> Kowalski, Private, and the other two, get back out here. We're not done yet. Harold Holt's in trouble. Yeah. So that one Four more done. penguins jump out of the thing because it's doubles. Oh my god, there's supposed to be so many Harold Holtz actually! <laughs> a legion of Harold Holtz also comes out. One is teaching you about the one is teaching you about flumps, the other one is another swimming instructor. And the last one is just a regular ass Harold Holt that we had. <laughs> we we have entered the Holtz. The Holtz! Uh more or less that someone kept I think they donated like two or three more Harold Holtz. And they had to they kept specifying different different professions that Harold Holt would. So one was a strumming instructor, one was like teaching us about monster manual monsters, one was I think doing like a drug safety video. Uh and then one was just like regular Harold Holt. They're like just just make just the regular one come out and and be a prime minister. <laughs> What else we got? Hot. Oh, that's Halter vs. Madness. He truly deserves it. There's a lot in here. All right. I might switch over to painting, the thing we're supposed to be doing today. <laughs> <laughs> got my wet palette set up, and I have even put paint down. Oh, goodness. Is that Ash, you, even good anymore? Ash, do you want Have You Ever? I'll do, I'll do Have You Ever as the last one. What? Uh, Leia, have you... Have you? Do you know of the Australian icon show uh, Round the Twist? No. All right, so I'm gonna. I'll play that first. All right, so this is the. This is a very iconic show for Australians, uh, and it was. Mm -hmm. It was a bit uh, cooked. Uh, and okay. one episode literally was like uh, it was about a kid in a swimming carnival. Uh, and then it was, a, it was like, it was kids twilight zone basically. Um, and okay. then I think he won the swimming race, uh, because his willy turned into a propeller, uh, and it would jettison him forward. Like this is the kind of shit that was on TV in the 89 and nineties. Um, All right. <laughs> there were 33, $75 hot sauce donations equaling 3,475 in just hot sauce donations that weekend alone. 2,475, sorry. Can, some, can someone clip this? I will recap that, actually. There, over the weekend, there were 33, $75... Oh, Shit. What? What's up? Oh, no. Now okay. I can't hear anything. Oh, no. We'll wait for Leia. That's like a whole third game almost. Yeah, that that's intense. That is so much. I, I'm like astounded on how much that is. Most most games we raised. So was the hot sauce. Most games. I think the most any game raised was about $3,000 and the first game or two, the first, like most games raised about 1,000 to 1,500 each game. Let me know if you can hear us, Leia. I can hear you now. Are you good? Okay, sweet. I, yeah, I had to do some toggling. I was just filling just to make sure. Uh, but, yep. uh, all right. So I'll, I'll say that if someone's able to clip this. Next time, hot sauce and super sours. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, like warheads. Uh. Okay, so... So in chat, uh, they've calculated the Tiltify. There were $33 $75 hot sauce donations, equaling $2,475 across the two days weekend. Wow. That's like the hot... That's almost... Uh, double the first game. It is more than the second game. So across the entire weekend, we had 
over a quarter of our total donations just in making us suffer by spicy, spicy hot sauce. That is incredible. <laughs> that is so incredible. I feel like that says a lot about our viewers. It says they really <laughs> love seeing us suffer for a good cause. Yeah. And I, for one, am all for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever. As long as it's going to cancer, right? As long as it's going towards life-saving cancer research. That is fantastic. Hell yeah. All That's right. Funny. So, round the twist intro theme. Later, I'll just send this to you direct so we can uh, watch it in at, at same time. God. So this, this, this show is weird. I won't even understate it this this show is weird this show is weird <laughs> it, it's it's a strange Fine. one uh and and the theme songs become really iconic so if you if you were to say to someone have you ever ever felt like this everyone knows everyone in the room will know okay uh All right. actually everyone of a certain age group it's mostly it's mostly like the the late 20s to 40s range um so i to play it three you tell me when Two, one. Mine's just buffering. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ever felt like this? Have strange things happen? Are you going round the twist? Have you ever, ever felt like this? So, from there, so that that's so Ash was like, I almost fucking replied when I was saying it earlier for one. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> a few <laughs> a hot sauce induced fugue state we saw that clip that was yes yeah i we, i think we played the hot sauce fugue state first right mm. um okay so the final uh the final uh the winning play of the weekend uh mm -hmm. there there was an astral dreadnought that they accidentally released outside of toral uh, and if you don't know what an Astral Dreadnought is, it is like, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest creature in D&D. &D. It is, it is able to, it's, it's D&D's Galactus. It eats planets and dead gods type thing. Uh, and they accidentally summoned one. Actually, no, someone donated for one right next to us and then it busted out of an, uh, uh, of an ethereal realm prison and then popped out next to the planet. Uh, so then they had to sort that out. And then this... <laughs> And then this happened. Uh, Steve Irwin uh, was summoned next to Harold Holt, Australian icon, crikey, all of that. And he goes, you know how you're going to I know who Steve Irwin is. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Australian, <laughs> Australian icon. Any Zoomers watching, you know, you're welcome on the- We uh, loved him. Yeah, we loved him. Everybody loved him. It's hard to dislike the guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and- you know, the the joke about Steve Irwin is if you want to calm an animal down, you get your thumb and shove your finger in his butthole. Calms them right down. Or at least shocks them enough to stop doing what they're doing. Uh, and so this was the play. Uh, Anthony's character was being shot into space at 1% one, 1 light speed into the Astral Dreadnought. And we then had this happen <laughs> your legs turn into like a cartoon propeller at the back is it just the bit from round the twist sorry is it just the bit from round the twist yeah 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 <laughs> oh no that's your willy yeah 
from the waist down, you're, you turn into a massive propeller, and you hear, you ever, you ever thought like this? When strange things happen when you go around a twist. Have you ever? And it starts going, it's like an orchestral version. Have you ever, ever thought like this? As you approach the uh, astral de just like, strange like things <laughs> happen when, when you ever run around, around the twist. The twist. <laughs> <laughs> and like fireworks start to uh, explode outward. Uh, you. Do you want to live after this? <laughs> <laughs> Your legs turn. <laughs> do you get to do you want to live after this? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was a good capstone of that um, clip. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, the thing that got me was the cackle in the background. Oh, like after after it was asked? You know, so, when somebody's like, is this just the Willy thing from, from what is the, the twist? Yeah, around the and twist. And you hear this in You're the like, back. <laughs> yeah. Um, Leia does not know about challenge rating tw Taylor Swift. I don't know if we have a clip of that yet. Uh, I went pretty hard on dissing Taylor Swift as well. So, you know, if, if Swifties come after the channel, that's why. Um, and then... Open uh, in a box. You cannot... Yeah. It's oh, well. called Era's Tour Fair Room. Oh, fair enough. Basically, I'll we... Have to take, I'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, we'll watch it later. Um, we had to... Uh, they had to do something about it. Uh, someone summoned Taylor Swift as a t CR20 monster. You know, which she is. Uh, and then... Uh, I basically compared her to the Zariel's lieutenant of the Nine Hells, uh, and her demon oh legion God. of fans started being summoned as well, uh, and it was very fun. The Okay, here's the other half of the Astral Dreadnought thing. Uh, basically, Loki and I now want to go off and make like a fantasy epic version of the Round the Twist theme, just so we can have it and be like, But strange things happen. When you ever go in round the twist. And uh and then this one is called Anyone can do it, it's lucky. Yeah. Uh this final clip I'll show for the day is called What d noise does an astral dreadnought make when you uh you know put a thumb in its butthole? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ash was saying, Matt had a private jet get summoned out of a bag of holding, destroying the Lego tavern. <laughs> oh yes, this was on, in the game that I used my Lego D&D set for. So a Lego Taylor Swift appeared. Okay. And uh, All right. here's the final clip. If you ever have it felt like this. <laughs> and then it just goes... <laughs> You see the astral, uh, the astral dreadnought just go. I've got my one use of my breath weapon as well. <laughs> While I'm in go there. on. If you ever have a felt. And the moment of impact. <laughs> Ash also says, "I love the implication that a planet-eating giant monster from the astral sea has a butthole small enough for a human thumb to fit in." <laughs> Because that was how they defeated it. Hello, my love. What is this? Oh, did I forget it? Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Hi, Jet! Oh. Yeah, I'm doing painting now. For the next half, they keep hour. asking about it. No, you don't want to watch the clips. <laughs> she she went ah, bah, 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 and walked away. Listen, I think that everyone's first thought on how to defeat an astral dreadnought. Yeah, fair enough. Um, all right. Let's actually turn the music back on. <sighs> oh. 
I almost, I'm almost done painting all these guys' pants. Well, the black? Just the pants. Just the pants. I'm like, so I don't have to like, cause I, I do a smaller brush for like the arms and like trying to get underneath the, the armor and stuff like that. Yeah. And I felt like I was losing a lot of time, um, having to switch back and forth on my brushes. Very fair. So I am just using my bigger brush to do boots and the bottoms of pants to do the boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants 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 my cat is really angry is they behind you yeah you oh yeah i can see them <laughs> so yesterday during my one o'clock game uh she sat right here the whole time and one of my players afterwards is like, uh, there's been a cat who's just been like staring at the screen. The entire game. Like the entire game. And I was like, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> she big mad. Oz Alien, welcome. Uh, they've been feeling Whoa. unwell since the weekend. Sorry, you couldn't make it. Hey, that's all right. If you, I think we saw you in there though. Like, thank you for, thank you for trying. At the very least. Daenerys, oh, I hear you back there. You're Damn. not. Come here, mama. Do you want to come here? Mo wow. Mo wow. Um, say some of the. In humans, at least, the vagus nerve, vagus nerve, which is a huge running nerve running down the most of us, is like a hand hard reset button for our nervous system. So if you have a time, oh, huh. so if you have a difficult time calming down, sometimes doctor can activate the reset button by icing your butthole. The same thing sometimes happens when people get shot right in the eye of Sauron with a bidet that's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not, not the bidet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I did not expect. I'm not joking. I know. I, I don't doubt you're not joking, but <laughs> it's very funny. It's like not the information I was planning on learning. Yeah. Not tonight's stream. Not the bidet. I want to hold her, but... Oh, actually, I can hold her by the tail. Oh, no, I can't. Don't hold her by the tail. Well, she's not going to break, but I also don't know how to hold her otherwise. Yeah. i got a lot of cleanup to do. I had a lot of cleanup to do too, but in a different way. <laughs> Not the miniature kind. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you, you will. It'll be okay soon. And you have a nice shiny space. Did you mention that earlier, or? I think I I mentioned it quickly. Yeah. I'm moving, guys. So if I'm absent for a couple of weeks, in the next two months, that's why. We will miss you very dearly. Mm, I love living in this state. It's great. Are you moving in this state again? Or are you gonna you gonna pop out of the state? Nah, we're staying in state. The boys have good good jobs here, so. Oh, that's so fair. Be and we don't have enough time to plan anything extravagant. It's. We're hoping to stay in the same area. That's Fingers fair. crossed. Hopefully, you can get something in the in the vicinity that works, and is um. Yeah. Last thing you want is like a rush job, because then you then you'll end up in moving again soon anyway. Um, did you see the Lego announcement? I did see the Lego announcement. I don't think I'll get the Deku tree because like. I only have a small connection to Zelda from like Breath of the Wild onwards. So it's not like a childhood thing for me that I have a have a connection to. 
I really like those games, the, the, the new ones. I don't really care for the old ones as much. But, um... Yeah. No, they're good. Show me lizards! Uh, hold on. The thing's not working properly, so let me get you a better shot. Where are they? Oh, yeah, there they are. They're uh, on, on their little pride rock thing. Show me lizards. Oh, look at them both. My sweet babies. I'll give yeah, you I'm, I'm, it's funny because I was like, I was telling the boys, I'm like, I'm not looking forward to packing up Rivendell. Like, I'm like so stressed about it. And the boys are like, well, hopefully we'll, we, we won't be going too far. And like, that's the stuff that is like the last thing to move. It's like the fragile stuff that we just put in a box quick and, and move over. And I, I don't want to have to break down my stuff. That's so fair. The, um, I, I, so I had to move that Lego D&D set across town as well, and that was okay. Uh, as long as it was in, like, a big tub. Mm-hmm. It was, um, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of the goal with Rivendell, is to find a, a big enough box to just put it in for now. Yeah, it's like pieces obviously uh, fell off, but it wasn't like a destroyed situation. It was like just a... yeah. Just uh, all right, yeah. Just um, get some, get some cleanup going. Is it me or did yeah, Lego used to be cheap? Like... Yeah. Uh, it did. Yeah. What were you saying? Um. Oh, uh, my problem is I've got so many books. So many books. Yeah, you got a library worth. Yeah, and that's oh. not counting like the ones like I've got like a huge stack just here. There's like seven books in this pile. <laughs> it's that's like fair. And that's just the books that are right there. I have like so many of my like herbal uh like florology florography. Botany. Flowers. No, it's the the like uh the language of flowers. Oh. Ooh, yeah, Leia, Leia. I'm a witch, so I learned that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, Lego used I like to... sending secret messages. <laughs> um, Lego used to be cheap, but with all the licensing stuff, it definitely got a lot more expensive. But I will yeah. also argue the Lego sets are a lot more dense with stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Like, you usually get more pieces Ooh. in there now. Oh my god. I just, speaking of Lego, I just saw a thing for, um, it's, it's something that's going to come out this year, uh, in Lego icons. It's, uh, a little, a little 1950s radio. It plays music. Oh, it actually plays? It actually plays. Like, you can, like, turn the dial and it'll, like, it'll trigger a sound brick that like makes different like radio like like talk shows and oh, music that's pretty it's good so cool and it comes in this like this beautiful like 1950s pale teal yeah which is like so cute it was actually really funny because i saw um an early reviewer of it one of this a youtuber a youtuber a youtuber that i watched a youtuber a youtuber that i watched <laughs> <laughs> he reviews like he gets like early review sets of of certain um lego sets it's actually the the guy that i was like oh man i'm, I'm gonna have to get the the miss pack or the pac-man set which was an amazing uh investment by the way um Your but anyways like, yeah yeah so i saw him review <laughs> I saw him reviewing it and he was like, oh, I don't think this color is very accurate to like the old 1950s style radio. And I'm like, ah, he's British. He doesn't know that that's a very 1950s style color, especially in America. Oh, is that, is that actually the right colors? Uh, yeah. Cause he was saying that like, oh, a, like a brown or like a, like a, a dark beige mm. would probably be more accurate. But it is a uh, like a very classic 1950s like Americana color. Is that like the like real? Um, yeah, Ash makes props is, is yeah, linked it. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
Uh, oh, I can I can it's literally so pull up my cool. reference box and you'll see it. Here it is. It's the coolest. It looks cool. I uh, I, I, was like, I guys, love the idea that it has about... sound brick in it. Um, you can also pick it up by the handle. Like he picked it up, like and it actually holds its own weight. Oh. Um, and I was like, guys, how cool would that look next to my Atari? Just saying. I like that it has like the um, I like that it has the the slider as well. Mm -hmm. Is it actually and that a radio? Actually slides. Uh, it's not actually a radio, no, but that does slide. Oh, you can put your phone in it. That's why. Oh yeah. Well, so the back opens so you can like uh, insert like to get to like some of the mechanics and stuff like that. But yeah, the the guy did talk about how like you can open the back and put your phone in it to like play music. Yeah. Or like he had a little Bluetooth speaker that he put into it. He's like, this makes more sense that. than like I would putting do that. my phone in. Yeah. I would put. But I was like, "Oh my god, that's so freaking cool!" I I think putting like a little Bluetooth speaker in that thing, and then you being able to turn it on with your phone, and then and then put the speaker on is fantastic of an idea. They there should be like a conversion kit. Hey, Scarlet, how you doing? Only lurky work. That's okay. I have uh, shaky okay. hands this morning, but that's okay. You are filled with many beans. Pigalek, thank you for joining us. I hope you had a good time. And one, thanks for joining us. Scarlet, we were watching a lot of clips earlier, uh, and and we played uh, stuff like uh, "Have You Ever" and uh, the unfortunate family clip, and you were in some of them. And you were there? And you were there? I think I'm... Oh, I keep going like, oh, I think I'm happy with like this nearly being cleaned up. And then I see more of my mess. Yep. I've been catching that with the... This like contrast paint is like i think i do a really good job and then like by the time i get to the brown i'm like oh my god i missed so many spots yeah uh scarlet says thank you so much for again for having me had such a good time would 100 percent do it again uh it was great having you it was good meeting you for the first time in the real space after after doing some chitty chats for so long via in, our in streams Arrow. yeah <laughs> I loved your librarian, uh, your librarian aesthetic that you had going on. If it wasn't librarian, let me know what it was because you, you and our <laughs> friend Sam, also I didn't realize knew each other, but also Sam also dresses very similar to you. And I was like, oh man, that's such a little coinky dink. Uh, Oz Alien. It, that is exactly what it, it sounds like. The the uh, you go on the clips, uh, and it's the one we played. I think just before you got in, it's literally called "Have You Ever," and it's how they solved the final encounter of the weekend. Or if you're in the Discord, uh, there's a bunch of area. There's a bunch of um, a bunch of clips in the Clip It channel. And a lot of the clips we watch today will be in there. If you would like to see them. Library waitress. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely get, did get that vibe. Yeah, because you were doing the whole, like, matcha. Yes, yes. Uh, I did do a brave last week. I did a brave. What'd you do? I applied to go to Gen Con as Ooh. a DM. Ooh. Oh, I want to go to Gen Con. I finally, I finally mustered up the courage to put in my application. I'm hoping that it gets accepted and I can go to the Gen Con. Man, I want to go to Gen Con with you. I know. I would take you in my suitcase if I could. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I wouldn't even have to take you in my suitcase. If you could just like make it to my state, we're we're driving. Oh. 
I think I would require at least a year or more planning to try and get over yeah, there. But I God, know. I want to. One I see, day. I see like a few of the Aussies. Here. I think Zach's going over. I think AJ's going over again. I'm like, oh, I want to go. I want to. Because Zach was like, are you going ah. to Gen Con? Have you made accommodation plans yet? I was like, oh. Like, oh, I want to go. Oh. I want to go. Why is that friend? That's all right. One day. One day. One day. And then one day I will come to to PAX Australia. Yeah. We got to get you over here. It will be good. And chaos. I'll but get you. good. You know, maybe we'll maybe we'll do uh, a a set of games that we can both DM called uh, 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 Travel Swap or something like that. <laughs> and then we, we, you know, first one we try and get you over here. Second one we try and get me over there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to paint that guy's shins. Whoops. And then you can, you know, torture us with hot sauce to, to help us afford to be able to go see each other in each country. Because apparently, tor I don't know apparently if I hot have sauce is the best the way to, to, to raise money. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that to my friends. I can't have hot sauce, so... You can't have hot sauce? Like, is it like uh, a medical no, or is I'm... it like a, I'm a baby? I'm a bitch. I am a, like, I will die. Uh, that's, um, so just saying, uh, we had a few of those people on that stream and they, fuck, they suffered as well. I, I wouldn't be able to concentrate. I'll let you know as well. Uh, I couldn't either. <laughs> my, my secret was, uh, I, th there was moments in that weekend where I just have to like lean back and just be like, all right, what do you want to do? They're like, I rolled a hit and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that hits. Matt, I haven't rolled yet. Uh, okay, what's your number? 50. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> what was it? I tried something recently that I thought was I was going to die. I mean, you could was start, it? if anything, you, you could start smaller than us and your ceiling is lower. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck it in the, chuck it in the, uh, yeah, 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 you can link it. Thank you for asking. We will, we will keep links pretty, pretty, uh, available until it is taken advantage of. So for now, it's all good. My butt's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it and I'll never get bored. I'm a girl. Thank you for Guys, following, follow Florence. Up. Welcome hey, hello, to hello, hello, hello. our <laughs> cozy and chaotic stream. How are you going? Also, if you're a lurk, don't feel the need to. We are happy to have you. It's your birthday! Happy, happy birthday, birthday from all of us to you. We wish it were our birthday so we can party too. Hey! I know that. What's that from? <laughs> Is that animatics or something? Animaniacs? Uh, no, my, my mom used to sing that all the time. Like, that's, she, like, when calls me on the phone, that's what she says. That's from something. I don't, I don't know. If it is, Except the version that I heard, they kept playing it on repeat and it drove the person in the show mad. Okay, well, I don't know what you're talking about. But again, this is just something I've repeated because my mom used to do it. So it's, maybe she saw nothing the and I am just a parrot. That's fair. I mean, we're all parrots <laughs> uh, uh, taking pieces of other people's personalities and molding them onto ours to craft our own. Mm -hmm. That is how we develop and learn. Too many cooks? 
No, it's not too many cooks. It was this was like a oh my, it was like a memory from my childhood. Hood. Childhood. childhood. All right, everybody's boots and pants are painted. Boots and pants, boots and pants, boots and pants, boots and pants, boots and pants. I did get the big okay for this, uh, this flag, by the way. Oh yeah. Which felt uh, can very you nice. can you show it off again? I don't really yeah, remember. Yeah, I like, can give a big. Did it um? Yeah. Did it come out contrasting um, the way you want it? It it did. Um, hold on, let me put it on the painting stand because he is very wet. Uh, so we've oh, got great. Oh! some dark green, and then the green that matches the rest of the armor. And then I have to do a little bit of touching up because my cat headbutt me a bunch of times and uh, fucked up some of these. Uh, the I am going to attempt to get the term first and only on that bottom banner Ooh. because I'm a I I am a I. You're a sadist. You're a sadist is what you're trying. So I'm gonna do can it. Can you can you get like is there like a sticker you could put down there? Sticker? Like you're wearing your transfer sheet. Oh no, there is um the only one that's on there is a the big word Tanith, which I think Alex wants me to save for a tank. one of his vehicles. Probably the Sentinel. Mm. Um yeah. so I'm gonna be hand drawing all of that because mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I only have to do it twice. It's it's fine. Yeah, fair. Right? I could get it on there. I could do that. Oh, you're doing both Mama sides. didn't raise no bitch. Do it on the back first and see how you like it. And then do it on the front when you're better at Like when you, you've got the I'll repeat, practiced hands. Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> um, I think it is Maggie. Simpsons, but I'm not sure. Ow. Are you good? No. What did you do? I stabbed myself. Oh, with the pocky? Uh, this In just... The uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, did that work? Oh, I don't think it did. Did that come through? Oh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, oh okay, it's not there. All right. Oh, yeah? Can I get a oh, yeah? I don't know why it didn't, well, it's not working, but, uh, can I get samples back in my head? Yeah, I should get samples back in my head. Oh. Yeah, it should go through my head. I don't know why it's not. What's that going through? Um, I don't know. I gotta reboot this thing. Ah. <sighs> We're all done with the boots and pants. Oh, it's probably because I didn't save them. And now the profile has erased itself. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. Yeah, it just looks like my profile didn't save. So I had a little, you know that brand power thing? The little jingle? I had that on my sound, my sample pad. However, it looks like I... I forgot to save the profile and my computer has since rebooted, so it has not uh, stuck. That's okay. Is it going away time for us? Uh, it is 12. I am at a stopping point. That's all right. I'm I... probably only getting an energy boost because it's time for me to go to sleep. Hey, that's okay. But... I might keep... I might send a raid through to someone. I can see, I can see careful trips doing stuff. I can see CBs doing stuff. Baldur's Gate or uh, like a casual TTRPG chat. What do you reckon? TTRPG chat. Yeah. All right. That's a mm -hmm. careful cantrip. Or we could go over to, to Wolfie, who's doing some, I think, just chatting. Oh, no, they're playing some... Yeah. What are they playing? Dorf Romantic. What do you reckon? Wolfie. Let's go see Wolfie. All right, let's go see Let's Wolfie. go send some love to Wolfie. So... 
Wolf eats a good, a good bean, and good bean. Let's give them a little. So raid. funny. Give them a raid. Give them some love. And thank you everybody for coming and hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> I know most of today was watching clips and stuff, but I guess that was part of it. <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? I just joked. I'm okay. Do you have another Pocky related incident? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're so good. Here's the last one. So that's fair. Hopefully, I won't choke on it. That's so fair. Um, I've been trying to do another stream this week, so uh, I might if I've got time tomorrow. I need to go pick up like a hire car and a bunch of other stuff in the morning. But around lunchtime, might do a little, little, little streamy stream. Maybe looking at some more clips, doing a bit of like maybe a little body doubling yeah. productivity type stuff. So. Uh, if that isn't painting right now, I, I want to try and get a bunch of this stuff done. Maybe like pitch some PAX panels or something like that. So uh, might do some of that. But until Thank then, for hanging out. We're going to go. And anybody who stopped by over the weekend and donated or even watched or even just shared. Thank you so much. We could not have done it without you. And I just want to give a huge compliment to Matt, who worked so, 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 so hard uh, over the weekend uh, and is an amazing bean and is just I'm just so impressed and happy and proud of you and I love you man oh no thank you um, there is a there, you know Jess was a big part of it helping out on the weekend George was behind the scenes a lot Ash and there was a whole mod team helping me track donations it's not a one man job I did yeah. I, I did the front man stuff the scheduling and the contacting of all the people and the, that stuff but it was not Important. a solo effort i want i do want to state no that. i don't i i i am not saying it's a, a solo oh, it's a big thanks to everyone and but i know that this was very important to you yeah and and by in, I, i'm proud of you i mean like i'm proud of everybody who's yeah. part of our channel and our our cast members yeah and everybody who's watching so no, I, I very, love you guys. Yeah, no, everyone very much feels that, and everyone's kind of like together in it right now. Uh, this raid bar's hmm. gonna run out, so we've got to go. <laughs> All right, see you later, everyone. Bye. Have a good one.